A little bit of a chill setting up out there, Dia, though, toward the end of that eight day. Looking forward to gaining that hour. All right, Tom, thank you. Plan your shopping now. Costco's Black Friday deals have leaked, and Starbucks just revealed its holiday cups. Jane King has these stories and so much more. It's today's business report. We barely closed the books on Halloween, and already some Black Friday ads are leaking out. Costco's ads say they will have $499 big screen TVs and $35 off Instapots. The Black Friday sale lasts from the 23rd to the 26th, but some online deals are available as early as the 22nd. Costco stores will be closed on Thanksgiving. Now, grocery giant Albertsons looking to automate one of the biggest headaches when it comes to delivery, putting together the basket of items. In the past, when people order their groceries from an Albertsons store online, an employee would walk around the store picking up items to pack for delivery. But that was costly and time consuming for the workers and the company. And WeWork will limit how much beer members are allowed to drink. Free beer is part of the WeWork facilities, but the new rules come amid scrutiny over safety and professionalism within its offices. So members will be limited to four 12 ounce pours of beer per day and only between the hours of 12 p.m. and 8 p.m. And Starbucks says their annual holiday cups will be returning to stores starting tomorrow. There'll be four different designs this year. Two of them are in their signature red. The other two feature a new festive green color. Starbucks is also serving up three new pastries over the holiday season, as well as a couple of mysterious drinks. From the NASDAQ market side, I'm Jane King with your business update. All right, Jane, thanks so much. Let's take a look and see how stocks are performing right now. Dow Jones Industrial continues its healthy rally up 200 points. It's at 25,316. NASDAQ Composite continues to climb as well, up 73 points to sit at 73.78. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety is out with new recommendations on used vehicles for teens. The Institute reports generally bigger and heavier is best with electronic stability control, good roof strength ratings, and vehicles without high horsepower cars, which could be tempting for young drivers. This year's list includes 53 best choices, which start under $20,000, and 62 more good choices that start under $10,000. And the Labor Department is reporting wages and salaries up 2.9% in the 12 months through September. This is the biggest increase since September of 2008. A tightening labor market is seen as steadily pushing up wage growth. The jobs market is currently viewed as being close to full employment, with the unemployment rate close to a 49-year low of 3.7%. Chris? An Ohio father-daughter duo creates a tractor so fast it lands